Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating curved geometry in open foam. In this tutorial I will show you steps for creating a curved geometry in open foam and viewing the results in para view. To record this tutorial I am using Linux operating system Ubuntu version 10.04, open foam version 2.1.0, para view version 3.12.0. We will create a geometry for flow over a cylinder. Note that I am using this case just for explanation. The cylinder is in form of a semicircle. Meshing is a body fitted grid. The entire geometry is divided into blocks. We break the semicircle into equal number of parts. Now minimize this. Open a block mesh dict file of the previous tutorial. I have already opened it. Scroll down. For simple geometries, you can see that edges is kept empty. Now create a new block mesh dict file. To do this, let us minimize this first. Now right click, create document, empty file. Name this as block mesh dict. Note that M and D here are capital. Open this. Now you can copy the initial few lines from the lid driven cavity up to convert to meters. Go up. Now copy this up to convert to meters. Copy this and paste it in the new block mesh dict file. Now change the convert to meters from 0.1 to 1. As our geometry is in meters, we will keep this as 1. Now press enter, press enter again. After this, you need to enter the coordinates of the geometry in vertices. Let me switch back to the slide. Note that the point should be ordered in such a way starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on as shown in the figure. Minimize the slide. Now type vertices in the block mesh dict file and press enter. Insert a open bracket and press enter. Now enter the coordinates of the geometry as shown in the diagram. Let me switch back to the slides. For explanation I will use right half of the semicircle. Enter the value for the points in the figure starting from 0. Let me switch back to the block mesh dict file. Leave some space and enter the coordinates of point 0. Open close bracket. Enter. 0 0.5 space 0 space 0 press enter again leave some space open close bracket enter the coordinates for point 1 space 0 space 0 press enter now leave two vertical spaces again press enter again press enter leave some space and enter the coordinates for point number 4 open close bracket enter 0. 707 space 0 0.707 space 0 press enter leave some space open close bracket enter the coordinates for the point 5 enter 0 0.353 space 0 0.353 space 0 press enter now leave 4 vertical spaces and enter coordinates for point number 9 1 2 3 4 Again press enter, leave some space, open close bracket, enter 0 space 1 space 0, press enter, leave some space, enter the coordinates for point number 10, open close bracket, 0 space 0 0.5 space 0, press enter. Similarly enter the coordinates for the remaining points in the geometry. 
insert a close bracket, put a semicolon and press enter. Again press enter. Now type blocks and press enter. Insert a open bracket and press enter. Let me switch back to the slides. The block numbers are circled as shown in the figure. Now let me switch back to the block mesh dict file. Leave some space. Now enter the type of the block that is hex. Leave some space. Now enter the points for the blocks in open close bracket. Leave some space. The simple grading can be kept as 111 and press enter. For creating the blocks, please refer to the tutorial on creating simple geometry in open form. Note that there will be more number of blocks in this example. Now insert a close bracket, insert a semicolon and press enter. Again press enter. In the next line type edges and press enter. Insert a open bracket and press enter. Here you need to enter the points which are the end points of the arc. Leave some space and type arc. Leave some space. Type the points which are the end points of the arc. Let me switch back to the slide. Now insert the end points of the arc. In this figure we start with arc 0 5. Let me switch back to the block mesh dict file. Enter 0 space 5. Leave some space. Insert open close bracket. In the bracket enter the coordinate of any intermediate point in between the two arc points. Now let me switch back again to the slides. In the figure you can see that you have to pick up a point in between the two end points of the arc. In this geometry I have picked up the right half of the circle. Using simple geometric relations you can find the coordinates of the intermediate points as shown in the semicircle. Similarly, you can repeat the procedure for rest of the semicircle geometry. Now, let me switch back to the block mesh dict file. Now, press enter. Note that there are more number of arcs in this example. Insert a close bracket, insert a semicolon, and press enter. Again, press enter. Now, enter the boundary patches after arcs. Refer, refer to the tutorial on simple geometry in open form for entering the boundary patches. Enter boundary, press enter, insert open bracket, press enter, insert close bracket, semicolon, press enter, again press enter. Now in the next line type merge patch pairs. Note that P here is capital, press enter, insert a open bracket. Press enter. Since there are no patches to be merged, this can be kept empty. Insert a close bracket, insert a semicolon and press enter. Let me switch back to the slides. Similarly, enter the coordinate points for the points in the front face of unit thickness of the geometry as shown in the figure. Now open a command terminal. In the command terminal, type the path for your case. I have already set the path for the tutorial case of flow over a cylinder. In the terminal type block mesh for meshing the geometry and press enter. Meshing is done. Now type paraform in the terminal and press enter to view the geometry. Let me drag this to the capture area. Now on left hand side of the object inspector menu click apply. The geometry will be created as seen in the paraview window. Scroll down the object inspector menu. Check or uncheck the mesh field box. You can see the different regions of the geometry. You can also see the wireframe of the geometry. On top of the active variable control menu, 
in the drop down menu change from surface to wireframe you can see the wireframe model of the geometry close this let me switch back to the slides in this tutorial we learned how to create a curved geometry how to enter points for edges in open foam this brings us to the end of the tutorial as an assignment create a geometry with inner semicircle of radius 2 meters and outer semicircle of radius 4 meters and view the geometry in para view watch the video available at this URL it summarizes the spoken tutorial project if you do not have a good bandwidth you can download and watch it the spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorial gives certificates to those who pass an online test for more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this URL. This is Rahul Joshi from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.